Hello everyone, it's Charlton. Please subscribe to my channel. Tap the notification bell. I'd appreciate it majorly. So I just wanted to follow up on that story from earlier today, or uh, the video I made earlier today, of the couple that was found in the ditch. And actually that was from earlier in the week on, um, I think it was Tuesday at 6.30 in the morning, they were found by a jogger, a passerby. You know, um, it's... It's it's Robin Carr and Beth Potter is a husband and wife. And Beth is, she's a physician. It was on campus at the University of Wisconsin-Madison in an arboretum, like a 1,200-acre large, you know, um, arboretum with, with, with prairies and, and, and trails for biking and jogging and so forth. And they were found by a jogger who found them in a ditch. He was dead at the scene, and she was rushed to the hospital, but she died not long after that, so... But they arrested somebody late last night, um, a teen who's an 18-year-old, so he's an adult. And that's that's the individual that was arrested. Kari Sanford is his name. The authorities haven't revealed any kind of motive, even though before he was arrested, basically the uh, University of Wisconsin-Madison Police Department had said that they felt it was a targeted killing and that it wasn't random, uh, random and, you know, which, which, which would lead you to believe that the person uh, knew the couple. And, and this individual was known to the family. The authorities have said that. And they haven't revealed, um, they haven't revealed how they were killed, even though, um, you know, the, the police chief, I think her last name is Roman, who, who gave a, 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 like a video press conference because of social distancing, distancing and so forth. I mean, this just complicates everything, all aspects of life, including, you know, police investigations into very, you know, horrible crimes. But, um, you know, in, in, this, uh, in this press conference, you know, she said that uh, the nature of the killing was very, um, you know, gruesome, basically. She said it was calculated, cold-blooded, and senseless, and we will continue to do all we can to bring justice to Robin and Beth, their family, and their loved, one, loved ones. And they have three children, um, you know, and I believe two of the three children are minors because in this, in this, uh, in this Heavy.com piece, um, Beth... Beth Potter's Facebook page, her profile picture is, is her three kids, you know, and, uh, but in this, in this, in this heavy.com, um, article, three of the, two of the three, two of the three kids, their faces are blurred out. So I assume the two, two of them are minors, even though I think they're, you know, they're, they're older teenagers, 16 or 17, I'm assuming, you know, um, so, but let me get back to this real quickly. And he's been charged with, um, uh, and he's sitting in prison right now or in jail. He, I don't believe today he was booked. You know, he wasn't char officially um, charged, you know, brought into court for his first court, court appearance, I, I believe. University of Wisconsin Police Chief Kristen Roman said in a statement Friday that Car uh, Kari Sanford has been booked into the Dane County Jail on two counts of party to the crime of first-degree intentional homicide. Roman did not say what Sanford's relationship to the to the family to the was to the family or how the couple was killed. So, you know, we don't know if they were stabbed, if they were shot, you know, or bludgeoned to death or whatever. But the nature by which you know they the uh, they were killed, the autopsy was done on April first. And, you know, according to the medical examiner's report and just the police, they, I mean, the, how they were killed led them to believe that somebody, you know, it was a targeted killing and it wasn't random, which kind of makes you think it was, um, you know, fairly gruesome. You know, they lived within two miles of this arboretum where they were found. You know, I don't know if they were driven to there from their own home. You know, um, they were found at 6.30 in the morning. I don't know if that's when they were specifically killed. The medical examiner's report says that they were killed, you know, the, the time of death was 6.28, but they were found at 6.30. So I'm not sure that that's absolutely, if that reporting's cr correct. So, but, I mean, this picture that I started out with, this is, this is Kari Sanford from his Facebook page, and I believe that's an actual handgun, I believe, you know. Um, and I try to look it up, like it says, A-I-C-C. I C C N under there, and uh, I couldn't I couldn't get an answer to my own question, but I, I that appears to be a real a handgun, but I'm not positive of that. He has a recent, I think, in a recent arrest for uh, a, 
auto theft that was some kind of deferred prosecution that's sort of pending. I don't understand. I'm not a lawyer. I don't fully understand the, the legal the law to that. But and I also don't understand why. Um, I don't know why it's called party to a crime for first degree intentional homicide. I don't know why it's just not just called first degree intentional homicide. I don't understand if they're suggesting that he's an accessory, to, if that's what they're saying, an accessory to first degree intentional homicide. And there's somebody, there's other suspects that, you know, um, are still out there. Or if that's just, you know, what they basically call first degree murder, um, you know, uh, um, in Dane County in Wisconsin. I kind of think that. I kind of think it's basically just first degree intentional homicide, and that's what's how it's called. It's called party to a crime for first degree intentional homicide. So, um, you know, uh, uh, um, Heavy.com over here basically talking about the accused, and obviously, you know, and people have put, there's some of his, I guess, friends or people who maybe know him who posted on his own Facebook page basically telling people to reserve judgment and, you know, some people are making hateful comments because two people are being killed, you know. But, um, you know, that he's still innocent and proven gu- until pro- pro- proven guilty and so forth. But it appears that he went to the same high school as this couple's kids, and or at least two of them. I think two of them are still in high school. And one of them is uh, the youngest one, I believe it's the youngest, is their daughter. And it appears that maybe they had a relationship because she, it appears she posted in some of his uh, recent posts, you know, dating back to December of 2019 and beyond and further back than that. Basically, I can't even remember what, and they state it here. um, It says that the Potter care daughter wrote comments on Facebook, on Facebook that indicate she had been in a relationship with Sanford. Hey, Hey, Bay. Um, she wrote on his Facebook, uh, page and actually she said, she said, uh, something else. I thought she said, you know, uh, love you too, but I don't want to bring it up here. Um, I mean, this is his Facebook page right there. And like, you know, there's just various pictures of him. So, um, You know, and there's 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 other there's posts on there basically. Um, you know, a couple of them saying we've got to police the police and stuff like that. But you know, and uh, I don't know that that necessarily really means anything. But it appears that one of you know the daughter of those of that couple uh, was in a relationship with him, and I mean that that definitely, I think, uh, points to motive. You know, yeah, uh, if in fact he's the one who's being accused of of killing this couple. You know, and um, it's obviously a shame. She was a she was a doctor, and she worked at a medical center that was affiliated affiliated with the University of, of Wisconsin Madison. You know, as well as I believe she may have taught some courses at the medical school there. You know, um, the outpouring of um, support for her family, for the family of this couple, and that just um, what the community members had to say about both of them. Her, the husband. Um, was a uh, um, an educational consultant, basically somebody that helped high school kids get into college, as well as um, uh, um, a soccer coach, and he was just heavily involved in in uh, um, you know high school youth. Um, the reports were that he was at the gym, at the gym, uh, the you know the physical fitness center every day. He was just a common face that people would see, and just a very very nice person. It seems like this couple were very you know very nice people. Um, so. And that's pretty much the extent of it. That's the story there, you know. Um, what exactly set them off? And, you know, I, I don't know. The daughter actually, um, I will say she, she does, she, she looks um, of a different ethnicity, ethnicity than her parents. She looks, she looks ha- uh, Hispanic and she almost looks like she's adopted. I'm fairly certain she is but I can't be absolutely certain of that, but she just doesn't look anything like her parents. She just looks, you know, she looks Hispanic, you know? Um, so, you know, it's pretty, um, it's pretty sad. Obviously 42 weeks ago, Sanford wrote on Facebook, we going to change this world cause it's time to let our diversity and youth shine over all oppressive systems and rebuild 
our democracy. In 2019, he wrote, used to be a wild child. I had to calm down. He also wrote, come from nothing. I mean, I saw a post where he was talking about himself and that he was basically, you know, saying he's a geek and a, and a nerd, and but he was just fine with that because that means he's smarter. So he was, somebody else was calling him that and that he was focusing on his schoolwork and his classing, you know, and being in class and not being, you know, not being a troublemaker or something like that, you know, but um, now he's been arrested and charged with that uh, charge. It's basically first degree homicide. They call it something else. First degree, first degree party to the crime of first degree intentional homicide. Like I said, the, you know, the police chief, when she's giving her press conference, you know, she says it's, uh, it was, it was cold blooded. It was calculated, cold blooded and senseless. And we will continue to do all we can to bring justice to Robin and Beth and their family and their loved ones. You know, I mean, they obviously didn't start at the ditch, you know, at the Arboretum. So they were taken there. Um, I don't know if they were killed before that, taken there and dumped there. That's two different persons that a high school, you know, an 18 year old would have had to carry out of a car maybe to, um, you know, to that location or if they were just brought there and then killed there. And we don't know if they were stabbed, shot or bludgeoned or what, but, you know. It's it's pretty extreme for sure. It says he was recently he he also recently received a deferred prosecution in an auto theft, according to Wisconsin court records. The motive for the murders is not clear, but he list uh, he listed on Facebook that he attended the same high school as the victim's daughter and two sons. And uh, in that post, she says, "Good morning, love." That's that's all it said. The put that's the one I was thinking of. I just checked that in a second ago. Yeah. So, but I, I think um, it seems as though there might have been a relationship there between uh, the, the the victim's daughter and the suspect, and that 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 uh, that just points to motive, you know. And that's the story there, man. Thanks for watching my videos. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a like down below. I'll see you in the next video. Later, man.